If you can hear constant humming, it's because I decided to film in my kitchen under a light for once, and um, like the only good space I had was right next to the refrigerator. So yeah. Um. <laughs> I feel like my tripod is lopsided and I'm trying to correct it. Bear with me. I think the thing's just not tightened all the way. Oh, stop zooming. If it's crooked, it's crooked. I don't care. Okay. Um, well. So I have a hair color I've never had before. Um, never directly had before. Um, and it's this lovely green color. Um, I'm kind of in love with it, not gonna lie. And it's really surprising because it's by Manic Panic. Woo! Uh, yeah, I give them a lot of shit, I know. Uh, I mean, it's their fault that their stuff just washes out in like five days, whatever. Um, yeah, so let me tell you about this. This is a Green Envy. This is Manic Panic Amplified, meaning it looks like, uh, it's in the same bottle and it's kind of the same type of deal Ooh. as, a uh, special effects is. And since they're having that whole shortage thingy going on, um, I decided I would just pick this up. I got it for like $5. It, it actually goes for like $12.99 up to $14.99. I don't know. It depends on where you go. But I had a lot of uh, savings thingies at a uh, Hot Topic. <laughs> and uh, so I got this for like six, five or six bucks, whatever. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and try it because I just really needed something new. I've been doing like pinks and reds and oranges and blonde and you know like fruity fun summer colors for the past few months and I was getting really bored. I felt like I needed a change because everything was just so monotonous and I, was, I feel like I was playing it safe you know and I don't like playing it safe with my hair, like, I, I, I need to change it, and I don't like getting attached to something. If I start feeling attached and, like, I require it, then I, I've got to change it. Um, so I made myself dye over my pretty, pretty pink with green, and, I mean, I think green wasn't my first choice, but one, I couldn't get the pink out and I wanted to neutralize it, so red and green are opposites, so... If you want to neutralize a reddish tone, also known as pink, uh, you can use a green color, which did it phenomenally, I must say. Um, but also, like, I've never done green. I've always wanted to try green. I hear that it's a hard color to pull off, uh, and it is. I've seen it, like, just, it, it just looks wrong on some people. But, I mean, it happens. Um, thankfully, I hear that it looks pretty alright on me. Uh, so, I was happy about that. I, I really liked this color, actually. Um, when I first put it on, it was the color of, like... How do I even describe it? Almost the color of this shirt. Can you even see? This stupid light. Oh, oh no, oh no, now it's changing. Uh, it's like this amazing, like, Granny Smith Apple green, but kind of darker. It's like not emerald green, like, that... Uh, can you even see... Google an image of the bottle if my color isn't showing up right. 
Um, yeah, it, it looks really emerald green in the bottle, but it came out this beautiful Granny Smith green apple type color, and it made me really happy, and it made me think about how fall is on its way, and how like my favorite candies are those like caramel apple suckers, where it's got like all the caramel on the outside, and it's got the sour green apple on the inside. Ooh, I'm so excited for fall. Um, so I dye that in my hair, um, and then it fades out to a kind of lighter, I, I want to call it a lime green, but it's not that electric lime green, but it's more of a actual citrus fruit lime green, if that makes any sense. Um, and it's really nice, and okay, I dyed it over freshly bleached roots. I bleached them till they were like white blonde, so only like 20-30 minutes of bleaching. Um, and then I dyed them on top of my special effects pink colored hair which was really, really freaking vibrant. Um, and uh, as it faded, well, my roots held perfectly to the color that they currently are. And um, the rest of it that was pink faded to this weird brown color, and I was like, what is going on? It was really freaking bizarre, but I guess that's, you know, that's it's, that's, that was it neutralizing the, uh, neutralizing the pink. I just totally had a Jeff Goldblum moment there. Um, but uh, it neutralized the pink and it turned kind of brown and I was really freaked out by that because I did not want light brown hair. So I dyed over it again about a week ago and this is the color it's at now. I know you probably can't see it that well but um It's still really vibrant, and I'm kind of loving it. I'm gonna change it soon to God knows what, but um, for now I'm having fun and really enjoying this. It's a really pretty color. It goes pretty well with my red hair. Um, at work they call me Poison Ivy now, which I am very much all for. Um, yeah. Pretty good. I, I really enjoyed this. Um, I want to try more of their amplified ones now uh, to see if they last about as long. Um, the first dye, I want to say it like got to the the worrisome part where oh I have to redye it after about four or five days. I was not pleased, but um, the second dye held a lot better. I don't know if maybe it was because now it had a green base to hang out with and to like back it up and or, or what I don't know but it's um it's held a lot longer since then and I also kind of I changed shampoos to a color I was always using color safe shampoo but I switched to a sulfate free professional color safe one, because I didn't want my red hair to fade again because I actually dyed it a color of red that I liked and I wanted to keep it for as long as I could. Um, if anyone wants me to make videos about like the boxed red hair dyes that I've gone through in the past two months because that might rack up about 12 to 8 to 12 different types. Um, been really fighting this whole redhead thing to try and get it down right. I don't know if it's working. Whatever. Uh, I'm just, I really like red hair and I figured I'd give it a go since most of my hair at my new job must be a natural color. I can have, you know, this going on, but um, all of it, no. Meaning I am sort of looking for a new job, but um, money is money. I will stay with my job and comply the way that I can. Um, higher price than the usual Manic Panic Biz, but um, it does work a lot better. Still a vegan. Um, really good quality. You get a lot more in this, I think. It feels like a lot more to me. Um, it's thicker 
than the kind you get in the little hub thingies. Um, and it's definitely lasted a lot longer. I mean, it's this isn't a good like comparison because I don't have this color in the non-amplified form. But considering I have been told that the amplified ones last a lot longer, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that this is longer lasting than that one probably is. So yeah, uh, definitely a good one. Uh, four out of five. Best manic panic experience I have kind of ever had. So yeah, um... So I'm probably gonna try a lot more of these in the future. By a lot, I mean like maybe two, but whatever. Um, if there are any ones in particular that you think I might really like if you've been through my videos and you've seen the colors that I kind of drift more towards um and there is a good one in amplified that you think I should check out please let me know in the comments because I am not as well versed in the world of manic panic as I am in the world of special effects and um I'm still gonna look for trying a uh, few more things from um, Lurish Directions, but those take a while to get to me because they're shipped from England and I haven't really felt like waiting. I've been in a very instant gratification type mood. So that's my thoughts on this. I hope this helped you out. Um, any questions or comments or whatever, you can post below. Thank you and have a good day.